Hi everyone, today's video is very kindly sponsored by Squarespace, so if you want to make a website of your own, you can use the link in the description and the code Hermione Chantal to get 10% off and a free trial. I'll tell you a little bit more later, so let's get into the video. Ah, I love having a couch here, it's so comfortable. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing kind of a thrift haul, but I'm also going to be vlogging. I might go to the charity shops and take you with me. So if you're here for the thrift haul, I'm going to say it right now. You can skip to this timestamp that I'm going to put on screen and just watch that part. But if you want to see all of the behind the scenes and the other bits and pieces, stay tuned because I'm going to fill you in on my day, I guess. I guess that's what a vlog is, so here we go. <laughs> the sun looks like it's gonna come out, so I am gonna go to the beach if it stays this way. So I'm gonna pack, which means I'm gonna pack some books, which is where my dilemma comes in because I'm surrounded by books and I don't know which ones to pack, but I think I'm gonna go with the fiction, a non-fiction, and a language learning book. So I've got choices. We love options. So non-fiction, this isn't really a beachy read, but I take it to the beach. It's The Story of Art by E.H. Gombrich, and I've read this before. And sometimes I like to dip in and reread an old chapter. And uh, for some reason, I like reading it on the beach. Then we've got fiction. I don't know which one I want to read. I don't even know if they're very good, because I'm not going to lie to you. This one I bought because I see it everywhere, and it's on all the YouTube ads. And um, this one I bought um, from an independent bookstore because it's on sale, and it has a very pretty cover look. Look, golden dragonflies. I am the worst. I do buy books because they look nice. Um, but I read the synopsis and it seems interesting enough. So if you've read it, let me know if either of these are good. <laughs> Speaking of good reads, my school friends and I have started a book club. We do like um, a group call every few weeks. And the first one we've picked to read is this, which is Queenie. And I finished it last week. It's so good. It's quite a funny, light-hearted read, but there are some deeper, more meaningful aspects of the book. It tackles mental health. There are a few sort of BLM issues in here, but it's still quite a light-hearted read. So I really, really enjoyed this. So I would recommend if you are a book fan and you've been looking at this, it's definitely worth the read. I'm getting distracted now. I'm also going to take a language book so I can practice. I, yeah, oh gosh, we don't need four. Do we need four? There we go, we've got three. And a granola bar. And my Nintendo Switch. I can't pack light. <sighs> okay, let's get ready to go. Outfit of the day featuring the wooden board in the background. Um, my dress is from a charity shop, originally from Topshop, £1.80. My belt is from, I actually don't know where. And my mask is probably from Wish to be honest. <laughs> we have a scrunchie just for fun, to spice it up a little bit. I keep meaning to leave, but I just want to show you a couple of more things before I go, because I had some deliveries come through for some very exciting craft-related things. First of all, I bought a ton of spray paint that's not from B&Q for once. I have some of these in the gold formula and they're so good, they're by Montana. But look at the colours I picked. Oh, I'm so excited. These are for a very specific project that I'm going to be doing soon. I've put it on my Instagram, so if you want to check out what I'm up to, you should follow me on my Instagram stories, but I matched this colour pretty well to a filing cabinet that I'm going to do up soon. I also ordered a punch needle. I have some of these already, but I just don't do very well with them because they're really tiny. But this one is a thick, so I think it's going to be fine. So I'm going to try this one day as well. Fun. I'm really leaving now. I mean it this time. Let's go. I've left my tile in the car, just go and get it. <laughs> got my grout and now while I'm in town I just thought I would just happen to stumble into a charity shop to see if I can find anything interesting to share with you. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to film because although the charity shops opened about a month or so ago the social distancing practices that are in place might make it quite difficult but we will see. 
I can't be too long though because I have a Derrily dunker in my bag and it's gonna go really warm in the car. Priorities. So, let's go. So aside from wearing a mask in the charity shops, the ones near where I live, they all require you to sanitise your hands before you come into the shop so that you can pick up the items. And this one had a one-way system, which was really nice. But as you can see, I found a couple of things. It feels nice to be back having a browse. I really love this little Snoopy house. And after I was done with all the browsing, I decided to go and pick up a sandwich from my favourite sandwich place. This is the best sandwich I've ever had in my entire life. And it's called a Hungry Veggie, and I always get it with extra pesto, so it's avocado, brie, sun-dried tomatoes, um, <laughs> the struggle, and pesto, and it's so, so good. So now I'm off to the beach. I'm at the beach. I didn't really stay long in the charity shop because it's too hot. I'm not in the mood. So we're at the beach. This is my favorite beach and I'm going to bring you with me. I texted my friend um, to see if she was free and she came down to meet me and I had a lovely nap before that. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have fallen asleep on the beach, but it was great. I'm covered in sand because I fell asleep on the beach and I think I might be going a little bit pink. <sighs> anyway, let's go to Tesco. Hello, it's the next day and I'm surrounded by about six months worth of my bad charity shop decisions. So let's do the charity shop haul. There's quite a few things here, so I'm gonna try and go through fairly quickly. But like I said, some of these things are pre-lockdown and some are post-lockdown and in that horrible phase in between, I actually did a lot of decluttering of all my precious knickknacks that were no longer my style and I got rid of a lot of the old furniture from the sitting room after switching them around I had to get rid of the coffee table it was too big one of the couches the big dining table which wasn't really my style I've given them all to charity but it left me coffee table -less. so the first thing I want to share with you is the coffee table that I picked up recently. I found this gorgeous cane number in one of the charity shops a couple of weeks ago. One of the first ones to open actually because they have all their furniture outside. So I drove past and I saw the table and I just had to go back and get it. <laughs> I love this because it was only £15. I love the circular shape and I actually quite like that it's a bit higher up than a normal coffee, <laughs> coffee table. <laughs> What's going on there? It's a bit higher up than a normal coffee table, which I like because I can like just put stuff on it without having to reach down every time I want to pick something up. And it was a bargain. We love a bargain, especially if it's exactly what we're looking for. So very pleased with that. Let's move on. Let me show you something that you might have seen yesterday that I definitely didn't need, but I thought was the cutest thing. I've seen in a very long time. It's this little Snoopy piggy bank. It's silver and it's so cute. He's asleep on top of his little dog house. I love him. And yeah, it's a money box, which is really interesting. I could use it to put all of my parking change in. This was £4.50, but I think it's so unique and different. And I'm such a big Snoopy fan that I couldn't leave it behind. Oh, let's do this one. This might be the best four pounds that I have ever spent. I picked this up a few weeks ago in the RSPCA charity shop. It's a vase, but if you can see it up close, it's kind of got like a tortoise shell looking 
style on it, even though it's made of glass. I don't know how they've done that, but it just looks really cool and just different. So I'm very pleased with this purchase. These two I actually found in the before times a long time ago. I think it was two pounds for the set or something like that. They're just little ceramic candlesticks. And I was gonna use these in my Nan's flat in London, but I ended up going with gold because I felt like there was quite a lot of pink going on. So I brought them home, but I'm gonna use them on my mantelpiece. But yeah, I really like those. I picked up some short candles in a boutique recently and some long mustard colored ones. So I'm gonna play around and see which ones go best in these. But I quite like the short candles. I think they look a little bit different. So, okay. And this item, when I saw it, I fell in love with it. It's so me. It just looks like a lot of stuff that I've been pinning recently to my art Pinterest board or my sketch Pinterest board. I can't remember what it's called. It's this picture. It's just a glass picture, but on it, it's got these like fruits printed and they're really, really nice. They're like abstract and I can imagine filling this with iced tea and being able to pour a drink of iced tea in the garden with my friends or a cocktail although last time i made some iced tea it just sat in the fridge until yesterday when i had to throw it away because it's been there for like three weeks so maybe we'll just do water but i have a nice picture did i tell you this was four pounds it was four pounds i bought this book it's a coffee table book as you can see it's interior design it's lots of like B&Bs and bedrooms from around the world. It's really interesting, but it's called The World's Sexiest Bedroom. So when I brought it to the till, the lady raised her eyebrow and she was like, oh, sexy bedrooms. And then I was like, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I think I said, it's an interior design book something i didn't know what to say but it's very interesting and um anyway i love a good coffee table book especially when it's about interior design because i can just flip through it once in a while when pinterest just isn't cutting it and it's just nice to have as well on a shelf or a coffee table for a little bit of a something so for four pounds and this was a bargain i'm very pleased with my sexy bedroom book oh I have a basket, £1.50. I actually originally got this to put sunglasses in, but the world has changed now, so I think I'm gonna put my masks in it instead, and my gloves. Although, mm, mm, is it too cute for those things? I don't know. But I can put it by the door, fill it with masks. We love 2020. This piece I really like. I'm gonna put some fruit in it downstairs. It's just this wooden bowl but I think it might be handmade. It's been felted on the bottom and you can see a lot of the imperfections in the wood, which I like. We like something that's not perfect around here. It's even got a hole in it. Hello. Anyway, um, I really like the prints of the wood. I don't know what this style is called. I should do some investigating. Maybe it says about this in my sexy bedroom book. Probably not. This is four pounds. And last but not least, we have my lady friend here. This is Venus, and I just thought she looked really cool. I went to Athens actually last year, and I really wanted to pick up something like this and bring it home, but I forgot, and then I didn't have enough suitcase space anyway. So when I saw Venus here in a charity shop for three pounds, I thought, I'll take you home. You'll look good on the shelf. You can stay with me. I'm gonna put you on my shelf. So that's everything I have to share from my thrift haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed doing the little vlog beforehand actually, so I'm gonna hopefully try and incorporate more vlogging bits in my videos more often, perhaps. We'll see. I did enjoy it though. <laughs> Anyway, um, if you have been charity shopping recently, let me know in the comments down below. Um, what did you find? I'd love to know about it. And with all of that being said, happy thrifting and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye. <laughs>
And thank you very, very much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. You know I love Squarespace because I've been using it for years for my own website. It's a fantastic tool and it's so easy to set up a website or an e-commerce platform or a blog on there. You can integrate your social media and they've got loads of beautiful minimal templates as you can see here. I use it for my website if you want to go check that out. I've put up loads of old home renovation pictures so you can see what my house looked like before and just like a little intro to what I'm about but yeah this is my website and I absolutely love Squarespace it's just so so simple to use so if you want to check it out and make a site of your own you can go to squarespace.com slash Hermione Chantal use the code Hermione Chantal for 10% off and a free trial check it out I'm going to leave that in the description below